What's going on, everybody? This is Al from PlayBuyGamer.com. And in the last Dice video, we went to Auburn to take on the Tigers and ended up winning 42 to 31. It was a very tight game all the way to the end. We were up four midway through the fourth quarter. We got an extra touchdown, and Auburn could do nothing after that. But as you can look at the box score, just a crazy game throughout. Just a lot of back and forth. I'm glad we got the win, though. Um, Williams had, I guess, his best game of the season. Maybe not by yardage, per se, but he had four touchdowns uh, on the ground. Just had a really good game. But what was really impressive was I thought our defense really stepped up in that second half. In that second quarter, we gave up three touchdowns. You know, it was tied at halftime. I thought, man, we're going to give up like 800 yards of total offense, but we ended up not doing that. Our defense just made some plays here and there. And we was able to get the win. Now, we are going to take on Florida today. It does not get any easier. They're 16th in the country. They're 4-2. Have the same amount of talent as we do. Looks like they got a little bit more. If you look at the offense comparison and the defensive comparison. Now, you look at their stats. Looks like they passed the ball fairly well. Overall, their offense seems solid. And their defense looks solid across the board. Just everything's kind of in the 20s. Uh, it's going to be another tough matchup. If you remember last season, we went to Florida and played them and ended up getting that win, probably our biggest win of the dynasty up to that point. But it should be a whole lot of fun taking them on today. Now, let's look at a couple things before we play that game. Let's go to recruiting. Now, we got two straight home games, and we're going after these five guys. So let's look at some things. So here's the strong safety this is probably not going to happen. For whatever reason, I guess he wants to stay close to home. Look who we're going up against. USC, Oregon State, UCLA, Colorado. We need to finish in the top three. The problem is we keep going down, and I don't have any other points to give. You go back and look. We've used up all of our percentage points on all five of these guys, so I can't go up any higher. I mean, yes, I could probably move some things around let's for let's just go ahead and look at every one of these and we'll adjust accordingly so here's the strong safety we don't know what he's into um we're still in an okay shape but let's go on quarterback uh dewan jones where you moved back up to the i guess the number two spot it looks like we are technically tied but for whatever reason we can't get anything out of this kid so it's going to be just a crap shoot to see what he likes Next up, free safety, Michael Miller. He is coming to the next game. I could have had him come today, but I figured the Ole Miss game would be a little bit easier than Florida. I hope I'm right on that. But we are in great shape. We got a positive pitch, and we are at least going to get a visit. So hopefully that will be good enough to get the kid. Um, next up, we got Shamari Hemingway, the wide receiver. He is ready to take a visit. He's ready to do that today. Um, what I may do, I think we're in such a good lead and we got a positive pitch. I'm going to go ahead him and have him come today. How about we do that? Let's see. Our location is playing a huge role in recruiting him. So let's go to location. How about that? So we're going to take a chance on him. Again, I wonder, I could schedule him, uh, this uh, free safety for the Florida game and get that over with. We could try that. Uh, but let me just think about it for a minute. Let's move on. Here's the defensive tackle. He's going to come next week for the Ole Miss game. We don't know what he likes yet, but we can kind of narrow down fairly quickly from that point. So what I want to do, I think what I'm going to end up doing is I may have, oh gosh, I'd rather just wait. I am going to, let me look. We're going to get the first visit, which is good. He's going to go Texas A&M before State. So I want that first visit. So I'm, re I'm willing to wait another week. To see if that's going to... Uh, okay, we got a positive pitch. Let's just take advantage of that. I'm going to have him come today. We got a positive pitch, so let's just, that's going to give us over the hump. Hopefully, even if we lose. So, our program prestige, blah, 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 blah. So, it's going to be program prestige for him. So, I've changed my mind. We're going to go with this guy, and we're going to go with the wide receiver. They are going to come today. So, make sure you stay to the end of the video to see what happens. I'm going to wait for this kid uh, to come next week. We may get lucky, and we may find out a positive pitch from him. Uh, after this game. The rest of these guys, again, I want to put points on this kid, but I can't. I mean, we just got points elsewhere, so we may be wasting our time going after this kid. If he can hang on for one more week, the goal will be to get this guy to commit and this guy to commit today, use those points, and really dump it on this guy. So if he can just hang on for one more week, then we may have a chance. All right, let's head over to Sports Illustrated. Bowl rankings, it's officially bowl ranking season. Incredible. I guess we're halfway through it. Uh, 
which is insane. We're number two in the country. It's us, Miami, and you got Texas Tech, Virginia Tech, or Florida State. It's all up to us. All we got to do is just keep winning out, and I think we can get in that national title game. But we got a lot of games left ahead of us. And go to Heisman Watch. We still don't have anybody on here. We're behind the eight ball. I think we're like one game at least behind most of these teams. But we will catch up eventually. As usual, a couple of Texas Tech players are on there. You go to Players of the Week. And quarterback out of TCU had a really good game. And looks like a d defensive end out of Utah had a really good game. 13 tackles, a sack, a forced fumble, two fumble recoveries. Wow, that's quite impressive. Let's go to conference standings. This is becoming more and more important. We'll head over to the West Division. And it is us and LSU that are undefeated so far. Let's go check out our team info screen. We don't have any injuries. It's Stucky, Williams, Cooper. Everybody's kind of doing their thing there. And look at there. Stamper is technically a leading in everything. Tackles, sacks, and interceptions. That's super rare. But we got, I think, three or four guys with an interception apiece, so he technically doesn't lead. But it's still really cool to see him leading in all three. Now let's go over to Ole Miss. They are right behind us. So this is a very important game. You know, it's, it is in our division. And they have half the team hurt, apparently. They got a tackle out, another tackle, a defensive end. They got a halfback out. So we'll see if any of those guys are starters. But look at their quarterback situation. One guy, he's putting up 17 touchdowns, six picks already. Then he got rushing. They got one guy averaging about 86 yards a game. Wide receiver averaging a little over 70. Then they got a bunch of random dudes on defense just kind of doing their thing there. And it looks like they got a big upset over Maryland in their previous game. So I am ready to head into the game. How about you? Let's go over here. Take on Florida. Going to speed this up, and then we're going to look at, see, we're at home. Uh, what we're going to do is let's check out their uniform situation. They should have some alternates. So that is their default away, but they should have an alternate to do. That's their white pants, white uh, uniform. Then they got that one. I actually like this one. I think that will contrast really well with what we were going to wear today. So I think we're going to go with that one. I think that looks pretty cool. All right, let's head into the game. Maybe sometime in the next few weeks, I may change ours up once, but I have to go on the back end to do that, and I just really don't feel like doing it. So Florida runs a spread offense, 4-3 defense. We've seen them play ad nauseum throughout a lot of my dynasty, so I know exactly what to expect. It just depends on... Ooh, I, went, I looked at the wrong team. <laughs> Dang it, I looked at the wrong team. Why did I look at Ole Miss? I guess that's next week. Well, we'll check out their roster anyways. <laughs> Oh my gosh, all right. Okay, well at least we kind of know what to expect for Ole Miss in terms of injuries and such. I think a couple of those guys were just out for a week, so they may be coming back for next week. 5-0, number two in the country, taking on number 16, Florida. Perfect weather, a la we are in the Superdome. It's gonna be a lot of fun, like to get the win today, keep this gravy train rolling. Number two, and reigning national champions. And here come the Florida Gators. They're going to highlight Williams as they should. He is technically first in the country in touchdowns. Six in yards. And they don't even account for what he does in the passing game. They are picking us to win. Let's go to the coin toss. Heads and they, we will get the, the toss. Let's go with I want the ball to start the second half. We got the ball in the first, uh, in the last game. I want to switch it back over. Let's check out their roster. So I have no clue whether they got injuries or not. We're going to find out. Impact quarterback. Thankfully, he is a pocket passer. I'm going to go after him hard today. Now, look at this. His backup is the Portis kid. If I'm not mistaken, didn't he start for them last season? 85 speed, but thankfully, he's not starting today. Yay! We don't have an impact halfback. It's like the first game of the season where we didn't have to face that. But they still got some talent here. 89, 84, and 82. Just your random halfbacks. Then you got a fullback. Again, they're going to go spread, so you're not going to see this guy much. Wide receiver. So their top wide receiver, Botang, is out for the next month. He's not going to play today. That is a drop-off. You go down to this kid. Then you got 85 and 84. Pretty, you know, still a solid receiving core. But their best guy is not going to play today. So that's a gift. You go to tight end. A really good tight end. 89 overall. 76 speed. Can he catch? Of course he can. 
So I expect him to get a couple of catches today. Uh, let's look at their offensive line. 84, 82, 97, 95, and 84. So their guard, right guard, and their center is their strength up front. They run a 4-3, 98 overall. Arguably the most talented defensive end we'll face all season. 84 at the other end. Defensive tackle, 93 overall. Really good. 89, 82. Look at their linebacker. 78, 93 at middle linebacker. Impact guy. Then he got 76 at right outside linebacker. You look at the corners. Wow, they got a first-team All-American, 88 overall, and Aaron Ralph. Then he got this kid at 88. Then it's a bit of a drop-off after that. So we, we still will sprinkle in some spread stuff because of these guys. Let's look at their safety situation. Just an 82 overall, not as good as a safety. Free safety is what we saw last week. Uh, 86 speed. Uh, then he got an impact, strong safety. So we're going to try to stay away from him if possible. 95 overall. Whew. Terrible kicker. 52 overall. If you remember what happened last year, they had the false start, I think is what it was. They was going to have a game-winning field goal, and it knocked him out of range. And they had to go for it on fourth down, do like a Hail Mary, and it didn't work, and we got the win. A lot because of this guy is so bad. And they got a decent punter. Not bad. True sophomore, 82 overall. All right. Let's get this show on the road. They don't have any impact guys on the back end, so I'm going to kick it straight if possible. Perfect kick. Right where it needs to be. Take a knee, son. I think you will. I love those uniforms. I like the extra orange. It's a little different. Four wide, they're going to go four, five wide, three wide a lot today. I'm going to play a lot of quarters. Let's see what they go with here. I assume they're going to throw quite a bit because of the quarterback. Oh, I completely whiffed on that one. Good play by we or by Smith. I think he's the one who made that play. Let's go quarters out of 4-3. I should have picked that off, but I was just way out of line. Uh, we'll leave it as is. Somebody get a stop. Good stop right there. Now it's third and long already. Let's go over to Nickel. We'll go to Cloud. Third and nine. I'd love to get a stop here. I'm going to see if I can get after this cat. I may go to the outside on him. Great play. They went play action. I was able to get around the right tackle pretty easily. And thankfully, the the fact that he is an impact guy is the reason why he didn't get sacked, honestly. I just couldn't get there in time, but still, great play by us overall. So we are going to force a punt out of the gate. Let's go double cross. Let's see if a little Anthony Gibbons could do something for us. He hasn't done a whole lot in general this season. We haven't got the blitz much. We're going to this game. I've had so many heavy run teams we went up against. Kind of haven't been able to use a whole lot of blitzing. Let's go over here to try to get something. We are on offense, so we can do a little bit of everything. Uh, but the guys have quite a bit of talent. Let me go here and let me go there. Uh, we can go. Well, let's go gun spread. And we will go, let's do a halfback screen. We're going zone 4-3. I may want to keep those linebackers out there. I didn't think about that. Ah, he didn't turn around. That happens sometimes. For whatever reason, he just didn't turn around. I had to get the ball off quick, hit him right in the helmet. Well, that doesn't help things. Let's go, uh, let's keep those linebackers out there. Let's go basic option. Yeah, their corners, their top two. Yeah, I think we probably need to keep them in their 4-3 as best we can. Ah, good defense. I couldn't get that off in time. So that makes it, what, third and 11. Uh, we're going to go halfback corner. Going zone. Can I make this throw? We're going to try to go to Amos more than likely if we want the first. We're going quarters. Intercepted. Good, just a good play by the free safety. Not the best throw. I didn't put any lead on it. He just threw it just a little too ahead of him. I don't know if there was anybody else open. DeCray could have maybe done something. I don't know. We'll, we'll treat that as a punt. So they're right back on offense. 
Too bad we couldn't capitalize on that punt we forced. So we have a defensive battle out of the gate. Intercepted. Wow, just like that. Another pick. Great. He just got right in front of it. Great play by the middle linebacker. Let's see if we can get a decent. Eh, it's not going to be an okay for play. Good job, though, by Smith. So now let's get the ball right back and figure out what to do here. I'm going to go. I finally fixed my depth chart with the halfbacks. Let's go triple option. Man 4-3. That's a perfect shift for them. That's smart. I think I'm going to keep this, though. Yes, good job, Al. Good call. Great play. So when they shift their defensive side, line to the right and the linebacker's the opposite side, that's a good way to stop this, I think. But this defensive end came through, and thankfully he went towards Ducre. So I'm glad I did not give that to him. Hey, Ducre actually could have done something, probably, unless that 92 would have got to him. Either way, we made a good decision. Just pitched it off to Williams, and we're going to get eight yards out of that. Good play. Let's go to gun normal. And I want to go Y stick. I want to get Stucky going. I need to get that interception out of the system. They're going man. We'll go to somebody on the outside. Cover zero. Can he get it? Get it, Batiste. Six points. Good job. He had, what, three drops last game? Well, he's making up for it right now. Just a great fade round. Both safeties you saw right there just come up. He beat the corner. That corner had no chance on that one. And just like that, we are up a touchdown. If we can keep the turnovers down a little bit, I think we can beat them. I don't know how good this quarterback is going to do. So far, he's done terrible. I hope they just keep throwing and throwing and throwing. The quarters coverage forces these quarterbacks to keep throwing short. That's what I want them to do. Try to get these few yards here and there. But if you could bait him into an interception, that's even better. So I expect them to keep passing. I'm going to try a zone blitz. <laughs> do something like this. Ah, dang it, dang it. I hate when I do that. Let's do it over here. Thankfully, he went for like an audible or something right there. Gave me some time. Get to get it. Oh, so close. Get a stop. Good job, Sanders. They went for a screen that didn't go anywhere. Now what we can do is go back to quarters. Do something like this. Looks like we're going gun trips on us. I got a lot of field and a lot of players to cover. Wide open. Yeah, good throw. So it's what, third and five, third and six? I'm going to go back to Cloud. Maybe I can abuse this right tackle like I done on that last third down. Probably go back to the outside or the inside again. I oh, couldn't get there in time. He's got all day to throw. Make a play, Holden. Overshot it, thankfully. Overshot it, so we are going to get another punt return. Last year, they had an impact running back that gave us fits. Thankfully, they don't this year. Looks like they're going to have a bit of a down year compared to what they had last season. I am... Oh, gosh, where do we go? Just don't fumble it. There we go. Now we are on the left hash. Let me see. We have... I am... I have a, I have a weird idea. We're going to go... I'm going to go back to halfback screen. I'm going to do it from under center. We're going man. We will probably go... We're going to go to somebody on the right. I know that much. It's L1 and square. We're going cover two. Good catch by Batiste. We can stay in this formation. And try... Let's go just basic slam for now. Zone 4-3. I'm going to run to the left. Good blocking, everybody. Good blocking, everybody. Good job. Good gaping hole up the B-gap. Look right here. 
Left guard got pushed back a little bit. It didn't matter. Everybody kind of held their ground there. At this point, I just hope nothing bad happens. Not with that guy. Not with Williams. He's too good. What can we do now? We're in the middle of the field. I am. I have an idea. I'm going to go. Let's give Hardesty some love. Let's go counter. It's first and ten. Looks like we're kind of doing whatever we want to at the moment offensively. They're having a hard time stopping it. Uh, let's go to the left. Good blocking. Every oh, yep, we're going to get a first down. Good play there. Love hitting that counter, the new counter, I should say. Now let's go over to Gunnish Twins. We are going to go... Go man. We're going zone. I only want to call this because I want to get at the Givens, but that's not going to happen. So we'll go to our screen. Good catch, but nobody picked up that corner. So we got like two yards out of that, if anything. Second and nine, what we can do from here is... I probably will go speed option on this one. Ooh, okay, they're going man. This is going to be interesting. Can we get a good run with Givens? Let's try it. I'm about to pitch that one off. Ooh, shoot. Didn't know what was going to happen there. I thought I was going to get hit in the backfield. That defense has been done a great job right there. I got spooked right here, so I just went ahead and pitched it, and I thought he was going to hit Givens right there, but thankfully the tight end got to him just in time. So we are on the right hash. What are we going to call from here? Let's go gun wide trips. I'm on the 22. Let's go PA Reed. I haven't called this one in forever. They're going man 4-3. Let's see how they shift. Who's on who? They're going cover one. I think what I may end up doing. Wide open. Oh, he dropped it. That's a tough catch to make. I kind of get that. But he was just wide open. That was six points. I hit him in the helmet. That's not even a drop. He just hit him in the helmet. So it's not an accurate pass. That's two helmet throws. Gee whiz. Uh, so it is second and ten. I probably need to... Let's go back to halfback screen and make up those yards. They're going man 4-3. We're going to go to somebody on the left. I may hit Amos over the top. Oh, double teamed. Shoo, that could have been a disaster. They double, uh, I guess I threw it too quickly. That's what happened. I threw it too quickly. So I guess I'm too close to the end zone to make a play like that. So that's food for thought. So let's go back to halfback corner. We're going zone. The last time we threw this, we had an interception. So we got to be careful. Ooh, cover three. I'm going to try something right here. Ah, I got hit as soon as I threw it. I think they blitzed really hard. Somebody come through. I, I kept backing up. That's my fault. I probably should have stopped like right there. Uh, either way, good defense. Look who was wide open right there. My tight end. That's fair. I just completely missed him. I saw what I what I was going to do. I saw cover three. Right as soon as you snap it, I saw this safety come down, the free safety go up. So that's cover three. I was going to hit this flag route over to the halfback to DeCray because that's a decent cover three beater. I just couldn't get there in time. So we are going to kick a field goal. Hopefully I can make this. I feel like my kicking has been halfway decent the last couple of seasons. Let's see if Simmons can make it. Do something like that. Good kick. Right where it needs to be. So we'll take the points. I'd rather have three than zero. Ten to nothing. I think what we're going to do on the next drive is run a little bit more than usual. Run more than what we've done so far. Let's put it that way. Not a strong kick. This will definitely be returnable. I'm going to go to the outside here. Hold him with a tackle. I am. Hmm, let's just go quarters. We're going to do it from 4-3. He's going to move over. That's what I want him to do. Wide open over there. Oh, that ain't good. He got him beat. But he overshot it again. So, thankfully, that quarterback has overshot his deep balls. Exact opposite of what we saw against Auburn. That quarterback was hitting every deep ball you could ask for. Ah, okay, I still made the tackle. They got a couple yards out of that. Not much. So it is third and seven. Yeah, did you notice uh, Stucky is three for eight at the moment? So I got to give him a bit of a break. 
or give him better throws to hit, simpler throws. They double team my defensive end. Oh, that could have been a first down. He didn't turn around in time. He just didn't turn around. Oh, we've had that kind of happen twice to us already. But we forced another stop, so our defense is playing pretty good. We just need our offense to continue to score more points. And that's it, really. Ooh, I'm going to fair catch that one. Yeah, that guy's going to hit me. So let's run the ball some. How about that? Let's go. I'm going to go dive. I probably should use this as a quick call, but that's okay. So they're going zone nickel. We're going basic dive up the gut. Got to get up the field quickly. Yeah, it's not a whole lot there. Second and seven. I think I may stay here, and we're going to go QB choice. And for those of you who made those, oh, they're going that. I don't have an audible, do I, for it? I don't use a whole lot of audibles in this offense, and I don't have it. For those of you who missed the last stream, I think I'm going to try to come up the middle. I am working on the next offense. That's actually a decent play to go up against cover zero. We will probably do a lot of that in the next dynasty. The next offense is going to be a bunch of read option. Hardly any speed. Off. Think Chip Kelly's offense at Oregon. We're going to do something like that. Uh, we're going to go over here. Let's get the first down. I think we got it. We got it. Good deal. Uh, we're going to stay here. I'm going to just hand the ball off again. This time, I want to try a counter with Ducre. They're going zone 4-3. Since our passing game is kind of having a little bit of issues. Ah, just terrible play. Awful. Nowhere to go. Good defense. And that was second and forever. That is the end of the first quarter. We are up 10 to nothing, but we are in a terrible spot. So what I may do is probably go option on this one and see what we can do on third down. Uh, either that or I can try. I don't have it in this formation. I don't think I have. Did I fix it? Oh, I do. Let's go deep outs. That's right. This is an updated playbook. Oh, uh, this probably is a good idea. Second and 15. I, what I may end up doing, I'm going to call a timeout. I don't like that. I'd rather just run the ball and I can have a better third down situation. So let's go back here and let's go basic option. Second and 15. And this is the fifth play. Maybe we can get better yards. I don't want to throw another interception. Our, our post route so far today hasn't been all that great. Get the ball off just in time. Get the first. Ah, oh, didn't get the first, but we got close. Third and one. I'm going to go back and do a basic slam with Williams. We'll go to the left and get the first just enough. Not a whole lot, but we got what we needed. I am going to go here. I'm going to give our quarterback something simple. But I want to get my tight ends involved. I'm going to go to wide receiver deep post. I had to go, to go man every time I call this play. I think what I will do. I'm going to do something like this. They're going to cover one. Ooh, that's intercepted. Terrible, terrible throw. Ow. The reason why this is bad, this is not, it's not on Stucky. It's on me. They're too close to each other. This is a bad play design. I need to fix this. I'm going to go ahead and write this down. That is what gun, ace, twins. Wide receiver, deep post. I got to write it down. So that's why I'm holding on. Uh, deep post. This little comp, this little curl route, little hitch, and uh, this out route, they're too close to each other. So what happens? That guy's defender, Givens' is defender, is just sitting right there on it. So I got to change that. So I will do that in version four of our master playbook files. So that's two turnovers. That began. That was that was 100% on me. So let's go back, play some more defense. Got to have spaced out routes, I mean, for the most part. And that was not good enough, so we will get that fixed. Wide open. Good throw. First down. They still just have just 20 yards so far. I'm going to go with a zone blitz. I normally don't like to do that against a four-wide set, but that's what we're going to do here. We'll do something like this. This may be a tough to blitz on. They got a lot of people on this side. The core. The halfback may be blocking. They'll throw on first down. Throw ah, 
Sanders. Sanders whipped on it, but there was Smith on the tackle. So it's second and 11. I am... Oh, my gosh. I was about to go with that same blitz again. Let's just go quarters for now. Do something like this. Wide open right there. Enters. Oh, what happened there? That, oh, he's going, wow, that gets quick. I thought Givens was going to get a touchdown there. So it, something must have happened. We can go back and look. Did somebody not come back? Did he throw it too early? I don't know. Who, he was going to that tight end. He must have got hit. He threw off the, oh, that's what happened. He threw it off the back foot and he got hit when he threw it. So that was just a lame duck throw. Just great play by Williams. Good for him. Just a lot of turnovers so far, but that's just a lot of it's defensive oriented. Let's go with the double halfback option play. Man 4-3. Oh, we're going to go to the left. Ooh, look at that pitch. Did you see that? That was nasty. Get off me, son. Get off me. Gosh, that was a cool play right there. Let's go back and look at this. Look at this pitch by Decray. I've done it the last millisecond. Whoop! Just in time. And here comes Williams. Going to bulldoze his impact player. Go back to Florida. Oh my gosh, great play. Let's keep running the ball. How about that? Let's go here. I don't have QB choice from there. I have it from here. Let's do QB choice from wide trip. So again, this will probably be, unless I change my mind, this is going to be the center of the next offense. Just a lot of QB choice stuff. I think I'm going to hand this one off. And eh, good defense. That's a face mask. Thank you. That's a five yarder at least. Much tougher run game when that's your base, but it's a lot of fun when you can get it to convert. We'll take that. Now it's first and five in the middle of the field. And I think what we're going to do here, uh, let's keep this simple. I don't want to turn the ball over again. It, that's getting old. First and five. Let's go with die from two back slot. This is another going to be big base run play. Now we'll do something like this. Ah, that defensive end is annihilating my right tackle. Just doing whatever he wants to. So we second and six. From here, we can go, uh, let's go speed option. I'm bad afraid to throw it. We're just having a hard time passing the ball today. We'll definitely go to the right. Good blocking, everybody. I'm going to go right past you, son, and get a first down with Stucky. Great play. At this point, I'm just waiting for that safety to pick somebody. He decided to pick Ducray, so I'm just going to run right by him. That's what I love 06, and so the PlayStation 2 games are really good about this. It's just unpredictable, but once you see they've been picking somebody, then you just go with the other one. They always go back and forth. The next play, he may go for the quarterback. Really fun stuff. So it is, we're on the seven. Let's do something simple. Do I have, let me look. I'm not gonna call that one. That's too risky. Let's go. Why stick? But going man. I want to go zone a lot, but they always call man. I want to hit my tight end. That's the one regret I'm having so far with this offense this year. I can't give it to my 91 overall tight end. Tight end. Touchdown. Cooper. Great throw. Much better throw. Simple man beater to the other side. Good pass blocking by everybody. And he must have caught it right on the line, too. Oh, look, just like that. Six points. We're going to blow this team out. Their offense is struggling. Their quarterback can't do much of anything. What worries me is we get another interception on him, and they may bench him and put in the speedster. I hope that doesn't happen. And he hits the PAT. Here's the Pontiac drive summary, bringing you fuel for the soul. But we're playing well at the moment, as long as we're not turning the ball over. But our defense is stifling. That is the worst kick I've ever had in my life. That's awful. I hit the button super late, so they're gonna get the ball at the 35. And that's gonna be free field position there. I'm still waiting for their offense to get go, but their their passing attack just isn't strong enough. Their best wide receiver is out. That does not help them whatsoever. If he would have played the day, that would have helped them some, you would think. 
Let's see if I can get after him. Play action. Oh, great play by the quarterback. Killer play. I completely whiffed on it. Look at this. I just whiffed on it. Oh, that should have been the easiest sack ever. And I just airballed it. A great throw to the wide receiver. That's the play they needed to get going. Let's see if they can capitalize on it. Go over here. We'll go back to quarters. Pass play again. A lot of people on this side. Get a few yards out of that one. It looks like they pick up four. I'll stay in quarters again. They need some points on this drive. In the worst way. Ooh, the win halfback dive. Ah, good spin. I couldn't get off my man. First and ten. I'm going to go back to that zone play, that blitz. Get over there. Get over there. Thank the Lord he's audibly. What's Gibbons doing? <laughs> I don't know what he's... Good pickup on the blitz. Oh, they got some space here. Face mask to go with it. Ah, just a bad turn of events all of a sudden. Just not doing anything right. That's a 15-yarder. That's going to be half distance to the goal. They're going to put us where? Going to put it on the five. Ugh. There's Urban Meyer. Uh, we're going to go. I think they're going to actually run the ball this one. So I'm going to go man 4 3. We're going gun ace. Maybe we could hold them to a field goal. I want to pass it again. I can't get around the guy. Fumble! Somebody get it! Stifling. Wow, Nixon. He's got the all time sack record. Good for him. So you got to see a record broken today. He must have just beat his man. Did he beat the left tackle? He did. Shoved him off. They call that a sack, I guess, because he fumbled it. Interesting. We're going to go quarters. And I forgot. Oh, ow. Thankfully, he didn't get a touchdown. I thought he was going to. Third and goal. I'm going to go Cloud, but I don't know how useful Cloud's going to be when they only have six yards to go. We're about to find out. They may just run the ball. Ooh, great play. We're going to have to call a timeout. Fourth and goal. We held them to a field goal. I'm here to tell you, our defense today has been stellar. Probably their best game of the season, I would imagine. We've had some high-scoring games so far. Even their terrible kicker can make that one. So at least they got points out of it. Now we're up two touchdowns. We got 47 seconds. One timeout left. Can Stucky go down the field and hit some deep throws? We're going to need him to. Or maybe Gibbons could go right down the field and score a touchdown on this drive. That'd be great. Oh, nobody picked him up. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Go, 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 go. Great play by the little engine that came in. We got a flag. Ah. That's coming back. Ah. Where's that going to be at? We're on the 39, on the 34. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're still on the left hash, right? And we are. Let's go. Quick slants. Go, man. Go zone. So they're going zone dime. Well, we may not get anything out of this. We'll see. The green wave with four receivers. Looks. Short cross. And it's incomplete. Uh, that is. And the clock stopped, too, because of that. So what I'm going to do. We're going to run the ball. I'm kind of giving up on this drive. I just kind of want to go to the half. But we got to get through this first. We can't go out of bounds on this one. Had to get the, that one off quick. Get a first down, and we got out of bounds. I think we did. Let's go tight in cross. They're going man. So we did get out of bounds. I wasn't for sure if we did or not. They're going cover zero. I'm going to Cooper over the top. And he got beat. All right, get it up. Get it. Oh, my God, six points. <laughs> we had to take him over. Otherwise, that was going to get intercepted. He short-armed it. Well, I don't know if he short-armed it. I think the corner was in great position, but I was able to get around him on that one. 
you go back and look at this this is the position your corners need to be in get in front of the receiver but i had to take him over out there and speed it up a little bit Ooh, he went for the interception that helped but i got right where i needed to be a deep ball to old number three i wonder if i can get a good how about this right here i'm trying to get a good thumbnail something like this maybe uh, we can go something like that maybe pretty good that looks kind of goofy if you think about it <laughs> either way great play all right now we're up three scores they got 25 seconds to do something but again they went cover zero so i went over to the top i hot routed my post in the slot to a curl just to get out of the way of the go route Our deep ball is working great today. It did not work so well. The last game was with the game before that where we had like two interceptions on deep balls. Maybe we just need to keep throwing deep. Take a knee. Good kick. I am... Uh, let's just go quarters. I'll probably run it. We're doing that. We'll do an over front. Who went play action? What? Uh, get it. Oh, my gosh. Great catch. Did he get the first? Yep, he did. They're going to hurry it up, aren't they? They're going to hurry it up. Yep. Let's see what they call here. I'm curious. Ooh, he st oh, they went the halfback screen. That was my play right there. He got three yards out of it. Nine seconds. I'll probably go man cover two the rest of the way. Remember what happened in the last game against Auburn? They had a big Hail Mary play. This isn't Hail Mary. This is something different. He's got all day to throw. Oh, he caught that. They call that out. Surely that was out of bounds. Wow. How, no way. They called that a catch. How in the world did he get a foot down there? Look at this. You bet you decide right here. He, so he catches it there. Did he get a foot down? Oh my gosh, he did. No, he didn't. Oh, we got gypped. We got gypped on that. Look at his toe was down, and they called that a first down. Boo! That's terrible. Awful. But just like that, they have a chance to get a Hail Mary play. Awful call, ref. On first down. Get him, get him, get him, get him. William or Thomas is super fast. All right, 24 to 3. Ooh, they got one more play left. <laughs> Never mind. We got one more. Hold on. Uh, they're going to come in. I don't know if I'll be able to get to this guy. They're going to block. No, they're taking him out. I'm going to just back out in coverage. Oh, no, that ain't good. Good attempt. Good try. 24 to 3 at the half our defense is playing lights out i don't know some people don't like that score because we're blowing out a really good team but you got to remember their best skill player is out today and they just don't know what to do with it honestly and just our defense is playing great now they're not even running the ball they're not even trying to but we got 223 yards they're 107 it's been a turnover fest two and two apiece they may lighten up in the next half we're 50% on third down. They are nothing. Again, our defense is killing it so far today. Let's go and look at the individual stats. Stucky, his worst game of the season so far. 5 of 12, three touchdowns. That's excellent. But he's got those two picks. So he's playing okay, I guess. I don't know how you can take that. But let's go to rushing. Williams and Ducray. Let's see, like, Williams has got 51 yards. Everybody else has got 20, 18, 15, 10. Just a little bit of everything, but not a single... Rushing touchdown. A lot of that's going to the receiving side. Cooper with two touchdowns, 62 yards, just off three receptions. Batiste has got two receptions for a touchdown. That was the deep ball, if I'm not mistaken, right? Yeah, so our deep ball is working pretty well today. Defensively, Givens and Nixon are leading there. You go to tackles for loss. Nixon, who's having an incredible game against that left end. We got one sack again in Nixon, and we got a couple picks in Givens. His first pick of the season, if I'm not mistaken. And Larry Smith, the middle linebacker, who is playing very well at the moment. So we're going to get the ball back. Let's go right down the field and score again. 
do something like that. So I'm gonna let him take it. If we can get decent blocking, we're gonna get a decent return, but no decent blocking. We're on the left hash. From here, I want you to run the ball, but we're gonna run a special day. We're gonna run that triple wide receiver option play. It's on my mind. We're going zone nickel. I'm just gonna hand this ball off to Williams. Just a great little play here, get a first down. If it was man, I probably would have kept it. Good play there. Uh, from here, I want to... No, I'm not going to... Yes, let's let's do PA boot. But going man. Yes. I want to go to my fullback. That's what I was doing here. Either that or to go cover zero, but we may just go to the fullback altogether. Great play to Tuyo. Tuyo. The unsung hero who's played great for us this season. First of 10, I almost got sacked. I had to get the ball that quick. Let's go here and what do I have? Oh my God. Let's do a halfback screen from here. We're going zone, so we'll go to Decray. We finally completed one of these. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, great little play there by 27. I want to try. He's kind of gassed. Let's go. I'm going to do this as a hot or a quick audible. Let's go QB choice again. Man nickel. I'm, I'm, pra I'm kind of practicing for the next offense, running more of this. We're going to be handing this one off, I'm afraid. Let's go over here. Good decision, Al. Hand it off. And then we can go hurry up. This will be part of the next offense. Again, if I decide to stick with it. I am going to keep that. We're just going to go up the gate, pick up a couple. I saw nobody over the middle, so I figured I'd just hand the ball off. Second and eight. I think I may keep it here. Uh, let's go wide receiver curls. We haven't called that today. Man, nickel. He's coming down, isn't he? Nope, that dude is. Ooh, this ain't good. Ooh, that was quick. Super close. That could have been picked off. Very fortunate on that play. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Hardesty. And I'm going to do a basic toss with him. Not the regular toss, but our version of it. They're going man 5-2. We'll go to the right. Ooh, we're up to just pitch it like that. Ooh. Very risky juke and an impact player. Where are we? We're on the six, second and three. I think I am. I don't have that play with me, do I? I got, uh, let's, let's use this screen. How about that? Let's use this one. All right, they're going man. So we're going to go to Givens. Givens may get his first offensive touchdown of the season. Last time we called this play, he whiffed on the catch, but that wasn't really his fault. Ooh, great catch. Much better throw. It didn't hit him in the helmet this time. He got it just over the helmet, and thankfully he turned around just in time. Ooh, that was close. Great play to the little guy. Just an incredible play. I love it. This is officially a blowout. Again, I know some people don't like these type of games, but I don't know what you, you know, we're just playing good. It happens. We're going, it's a good matchup for us. Let's put it that way. If they was going to run the ball all day with an impact halfback, it would be a little bit different. But their quarterback isn't playing all that great. And he's an impact guy, but he's just not making good throws. Three and a half to go in the third. And this is another terrible kick, Al. Man, it's awful. I hit the button too early. My kicking has been off today, at least the unimportant ones. We got a field goal earlier. I'm never going to apologize for destroying Florida. I can't stand Florida. Everybody knows I'm a Tennessee fan. Anytime we can beat Florida badly, I will do it. Oh, good play. I didn't know who to defend. They had like a triangle read on me. It's going to give me, what, eight yards on that one? We'll go zone blitz. I'm going to see if I can go out like Givens. I think I'm going to leave it as is. I'm going to see if I can get around this guy. This may be tough. QB draw. Wasn't expecting that. He's going to get the first, I think. I think he got it. First and 10. We can go back to quarters. 
I'm also going to run a new defense. Again, for those of you who missed that live stream, you can go back and look at it. I'm going to be running. I definitely, I want to run a 4-2-5 in the next one. Ooh, I, I missed it. Ooh, almost forced a fumble. Biggest reason I'm going to go with a 4-2-5 is, first of all, I want to do something different. Second of all, I am going to be using the new Next ISO mod, the new one. So that should be a lot of fun. And we're going to go up against a lot of spread teams. Intercept that. Ooh, I think he caught it. Was he out of bounds? First and 10. So our blitzing isn't working all that well. And again, the next mod is going to have all the updated rosters. I think it's the 2022 rosters. I need to get those on my memory card. Intercept it. Great play, but you know who. That was all Stamper. He tipped it. I came all the way over. I had nobody else to the fence. I just went over here, tipped it there, and who picked it up? Our middle linebacker and Smith. Great play. So we are on the left hash. And that was interception number three for this defense. And they got to be happy about that. And again, like I said, updated rosters mean more spread teams, which means you need to get more speed in your base defense. Let's go with a P. Reed. P RPOs are going to be a big part of the next offense. I occasionally use them in this offense. Not a ton. Every so often. But going cover one. Good throw to Cooper. Did we get the first? It's close. Second and one. We'll go here. What can I call? Here, flanker. Uh, let's go with a halfback screen. Haven't called this in forever. We're going to try it. They're going zone 4-3. We need them to blitz super hard on this one. Terrible. He, dang it, he tried to pitch it. He'd done a shovel pass. I didn't want him to do that. Look how wide open DeCray was. You Sometimes they do a shovel pass. Other times they don't. Actually, they rarely do a shovel pass, so I don't know why he'd done that. Let's do a basic run to pick up a first. Zone 4-3, I will probably go over there. Great defense. That guy just came right on through. I will probably go for it. Because forget Florida, that's why. Ooh, they're, ooh, they're going goal line. I was not expecting that. I guess we will probably call a timeout. Just wasn't expecting that. So what I'm going to do, we'll go option from here. Zone 4-3. I'm going to go to the left. We'll just cut up field. Great run by 17. Keep the drive alive. Uh, let's go back to Hardesty. Let's do it. I'm going to try a basic toss with him. Man 5-2. Oh, where do I go? i probably go to the right. Nope, that's not a good idea. Oop, maybe, maybe so. Uh-oh. Great play by Hardesty. The toss for toss play. Look at that. Cut up through. I saw that, out, that safety coming off the outside. Good cut back in. Great play by 34, the transfer from Tennessee. We are on the right hash. I want to give the ball to my tight end, but it's so hard. It's just... Oh, what can we call? Let me think. We can go back to stick. Go zone. Hang it, they went man. We'll go back to Cooper. We don't have enough room to hit the go route. Good throw. Uh, I want to try. Do I have it in here? I think I do. Let's go here. This is what I need. PA rollout. Go man. Going man. All right. We're finally going to go to right. This may be his first catch of the entire season, it feels like. Let's see if we can make this completion. Six points to the tight end. Yeah. I'm glad I thought of that play. Finally got him the ball. Got him in the end zone. He's well deserving of it. He's really talented. Sometimes you just got to force it. Thankfully, they went man. That's my main band beater. Great play to that guy right there. Good for him. And again, officially a blowout. So what I'm going to do is mass sub everybody.
We got nothing else to prove at this point. We're going to just run clock in the fourth and get out of here. Make sure you stay to the end of the video. We will see if we get a commitment or two. So that was a good decision to have a couple guys visit. I'm just going to have them all come from the next game. 38-3. This is the biggest win I've had on Florida in, in years. They usually have a high-powered offenses, but they usually have really good backfields, and their backfield just isn't all that great, even though they got that impact quarterback. But he just hasn't done a lot on us. <laughs> I got the hiccups. Is he still out there? He still is. Uh, we're gonna go quarters. Okay. Oh, they went halfback direct. Get over there. Get over there. We're gonna pick up a solid nine. That will not be part of the new offense. I'll tell you that much. Four. Let's just go back to quarters. Can I go nickel? I, I got. Okay. Yeah, we can do a nickel. This defense better be careful. The quarterback. Do something like this. Oh, he about caught it again. I got my hand out, so it's third and two. Let's go 4-3, man. They may just run the ball on this one. I think they'll go right up the gut. Ooh, get it, get it. Oh, I thought I had a chance there with the defense tackle. Good play. Play action to the tight end, just like what we done on that last touchdown. From here, I'm going to go with a zone blitz. First and 10. Ball on their own 46. Uh, we'll do something like this. I don't think I need to shift anybody. I think he's going to get occupied <clears throat> by the right tackle. And he did. I just couldn't get around. Good pickup on that blitz. Wide open right there. Good. Great throw. That's the way to beat that zone cover two blitz. If you could just hold off that blitz, there will be guys open. I'm going to try another blitz, though, if we can get this playoff in time. I don't know if they're going to. Five, four, three, two. They're taking their sweet time. It's not going to happen. Just like that, 38 to three. One more quarter to go. We will wrap this up as best as we can. Uh, we will flip it. Let's see if Givens can get to him. Ah, oh, wait, QB draw. Good play call. And I'm just, I got stuck back there. Great run. QB draw is going to be part of the new offense. And it, some of you may be asking, well, what's the difference between what that offense is going to be and what I ran at Mississippi State? If anybody remembers that dynasty, I ran a, just a nothing but speed option, halfback to reg, rollout stuff. I'm not doing any of that in the next offense. Great throw, but not enough. So it's a completely different spread option offense. But it's not going to be a lot of triple. It's going to be, just think, Chip Kelly, three wide. A lot of read option. I'm going to make I mean, QB choice, just a ton of it. That mesh point play action. Just stuff like that. I've never done anything like that before. So I'm really excited about it. Wide open right there. Oh, wow, he caught that somehow. Couldn't get there in time. They're doing that. Uh, they will probably go with a run on this one. It wouldn't shock me if they did. They are doing that. So I don't know if they either go to the sideline or they're going to go to the right or they're going to do like a direct to the left. It'll be off tackle, or maybe dive. And yeah, they went dive. So they got their touchdowns. That makes it, what, 38? So it's going to be 38 to 10. Let's just try to get the ball here on this onside kick and run some clock if possible. It's 2.44 in my world at the moment. I'm gonna try to get this done right in time before the 49ers and Eagles play. Gotta watch that, and then I gotta watch my Bengals play at six. Who day? Yep, that's what we, just don't get a weird bounce. Go out of bounds, that's what we want right there. Thank you. Okay. Let's go with halfback tackle with Hardesty. Zone 4-3. Again, we got our backups in there. Now we just got a, a JV team, more or less. 
we'll do something like this. Good, yeah. I had a huge hole right there, and then it clogged up real quick. Second and nine. Let's give him a basic toss. Then we'll figure out what to do on third. Zone 4-3. I will probably... I feel the need to go to the left because their two impact guys are on the right side. I'm not worried about losing the game. I know we're up four scores and we got our backups in there, but I don't want to get to the point where I got to put my first string back in. Great defense. Just nobody get a, get a stop on that one. So that is what, third and 12? I'm going to go with halfback circle. We're going, man. Can I hit that comeback to Amos? It's going to be close. We're going to try that unless they go cover zero, then we can go over to McDonald. So, yes, I, again, unless I just change my mind, which, again, it's possible. If I win a national title this season, again, with uh, Tulane, I'm going to move on to another dynasty. They're going cover one. Good throw. Right where it needs to be. Perfect throw by Stewart. Killer. Keep that drive alive. Let's go back here. Uh, let's go. That's Gibbons that's in there. I want to see. They got Decray in all of these. He doesn't need to be. Let's go halfback Reed. With Hardesty, zone 4-3, and the clock is running. So it ended up being a perfect play on that third down. I'm going to go back to the left. Just cut through here. Do you see what I've done right there? Really interesting situation. So my tight end got a block kind of on that linebacker just enough to where if I would have used the speed button right here, he probably would have caught me. But I'm just going to slide right by him and cut right on through. Great play. That's a good nine-yard gain. I'm going to guess that they will keep their out. Yep, they're going to keep those guys on that side. So I'm going to keep going to the left. Now they're going to cover zero. So I may go... I don't have. I wish this game had formation audibles. They didn't start that till 07. That just opens up your offense so many ways. They didn't start adding that to 06 and Madden. Just cut up field, get the first. First and 10. He is kind of gassed. I'm going to let him get a breather. Let's do a basic toss with Decray. It's first and 10. Again, I'm just trying to run clock and get out of here. Going man. I guess we got to go to the right because we got a tight end to help block for us. So, yeah, next dynasty. I don't know which team I'm going to do because I'm using brand new rosters and all that good stuff. So I don't know which teams are good and which ones are not. But I have an idea of where I want to go. I, I always kind of like to go by geography and, like, I wanna, I'm going to head back up north. I think that's a pretty good idea. Or in the Midwest. Something up there. I think that'd be really cool to do. I've been down in the South for so long, it seems. We had the Duke Dynasty, the Tulane. It just seemed like we've been in the Southeast a lot. So we're either going to go back up north somewhere or out on the plains, like in Kansas or something. But i got to look at those rosters first and pick a team that's terrible. I don't know if I'm going to pick an FCS or a BCS or a BCS, a Power 5 school or a group of five. I don't know. I'll figure all that out in time. Uh, get get through there. That's a face mask. Call it. Oh, they didn't call it. 30 inches. We'll keep this here and run. Let's go ISO. I haven't called this in forever. Man 4-3. Stucky is your MVP of the game, even though he had a couple of picks. We'll go to the right. If we can get a first down here, then we can take a knee the rest of the way. If we don't get a first down, they will call a timeout on us. I'll still go for it. We'll go ahead and snap it. Ooh, great play. Get a stiff arm. Nope. And I'm going to take any of the rest of the way. I'd love to score on here, honestly. Just put another touchdown on him, but I'm not going to. It's not needed. Looks like we're going to need only one more snap, and we will end it. Then we'll look at some stats. Hopefully we'll get a couple commitments. Then we'll look at some scores, and then I'll let go. It resulted in a touchdown. So I'm really excited about the direction of the channel. Please go on Twitch. I know uh, I'm having a lot of fun over there. I'm doing some random things, just games I want to play that's not football related. But I'm also doing some 06 stuff, like practice things and such. 
just stuff that's just kind of on my mind like there's a good chance that i will probably go live when i start working on version four of the next playbook that way you kind of see my thought process when i put stuff together why not there's no reason for me not to go live doing something like that 38 to 10 incredible win our best win of the season honestly especially our defense caduce to them we are one step closer to accomplishing our goals let's go over to stance 410 to just their 208 again our defense has played stifling football today 216 on the rushing really good 194 yards passing 57 percent on third down we'll take that any day of the week and uh there was only one turnover in the second half so with the, everybody kind of kind of calmed it down on that front let's go to individual stats so stucky 12 of 20 he had five touchdowns that's i wasn't expecting that but he had two interceptions running the ball we didn't have a single rushing touchdown and we ended up winning 38 to 10. i would never have thought of that but here is williams he's letting in yards but he had 84 51 for hardesty to cray had 39. then you go to receiving this is where all the fun stuff happened cooper with five receptions batiste with two and we have a bunch of people with one how many people caught the ball today three four five six seven seven guys roughly really cool then you go over here the touchdowns cooper has two batiste has got one right I, that's probably my favorite touchdown of the day going to a tight end we finally was able to get him the ball then we got Gibbons on a touchdown that's his first of the season then you go to defensively tackles nixon smith and Gibbons. they all got four apiece tackles for loss Nixon had three. We had one sack again. Nixon. Turnovers, interception-wise, that was Smith had two picks. Then we had Gibbons with one of his own. All right, let's get out of here. Next up, fingers crossed, let's try to get those two commitments. I'm hoping for the best here. I'm going to speed this up. Oops, I can't do that. Let me back out. Let me do that. And click on this. Uh, let's go click no. We're going to simulate week nine. Speed this up. And hopefully we get both of those commits. Again, we may never see these kids play because, again, if I win another title, I'll probably just move on because there's some things I want to do differently. And there you go. We got both commitments. Free safety and Michael Miller, the local product. He would arguably have been the best free safety we would have recruited in the dynasty good to have him and then 64208 shamari hemingway so the two local kids are coming to the two lane and i don't blame them really cool to see that so let's go back to recruiting while we're here we're going to see this at the beginning of the next video and that's what i expect this strong safety we couldn't hang on to him I, he just didn't want to hold on for one more week he decided to drop us which is fine so now we're just down to two players the quarterback De dewan jones We'll go ahead and just fix all this now. And then we got defense tackle Landon Johnson. We'll put 50 on him. We'll go to the quarterback. We're going to have him visit the Ole Miss game, which is the next game. Playing for a big-time college coach. So we're going to just go program prestige for him. And then next up, we got Landon Johnson. We don't know what he likes. So it's program prestige, playing time. He doesn't care about location. And he doesn't, seem about, he doesn't care about coaching philosophy. But I don't see Coach Prestige on there. So we're going to go Coach Prestige. That's usually a popular uh, pitch. So let's go over to Play Week. And let's go over to the top 25. Let's go over to the previous week. So we beat Florida. Then we got Virginia, UCLA, USC over Cal. Then you have Nebraska got upset. NC State got upset. Northwestern won. Iowa upset Ohio State. So several upsets so far. Indiana, Virginia Tech, Missouri, Texas Tech is still on a roll uh, beating Texas. Then you have Oklahoma got upset. LSU won, Auburn won, Ole Miss won, which we're going to play them. So that's another ranked game we're fixing to play. So that's going to be pretty interesting. Then you have, uh, let's see, Colorado over a and I guess that is an upset. Then you got Purdue winning. And then last but not least, the number one team in the country, the Miami Hurricanes, Still undefeated at 7-0, beating Georgia Tech. All right, in our next game, before I talk about that, let's look at our schedule for the few who are still watching. We got Kentucky, South Carolina. South Carolina, they were ranked preseason. They just fought off the face of the earth. 
for whatever reason. Then we got Mississippi State at 3-3. Three and three. This is the big matchup. Last game of the season. It's a lot of things are to come down to right here. We need them to lose two SEC games in order for us to lock up that division. But either way, next up, we got to take care of Ole Miss. We got a little bit more talent than they do, but they're 4-3. They've won a two in a row. They're 23rd in the country. Looks like they passed the ball pretty well, and that's kind of it. So hopefully we can do some serious damage on them. I can't wait. It should be a lot of fun. we got two recruits coming in. Uh, it's a big game to say the least. All right, guys. I'll talk to you later.